spooky. Guys, I am on the bridge of Clinch Park right now, and uh, I was working on this project yesterday. And I'm sorry that I didn't uh, record this, but it involved a lot of looking back and not knowing how to do bridges. Um, yeah, it was not fun. Hey, it looks really nice. I'm gonna uh, fly away and then I'm gonna look down and then uh, turn around and we can see it. Well, bam. <laughs> I like that. I really like the the curve that you that you get. I think we need to do a little bit work of work on this right here and make that uh, hill look more hilly. Hill more hilly. See this path here. Uh, this path is, but the land surrounding it is all is all off. Um, I went to Clinch Park yesterday um, to do some secret research and that these paths uh, they need to go up and it's the hill here is not this flat and so that's what I was kind of working on over there um, is raising the land a little bit and I was doing that by you uh, mixing in some green concrete powder with uh, coarse dirt and to create like areas where you know there's grass but maybe they're like pine needles and stuff it's able to use this green concrete with green carpet to look like there to make it look like there's some moss growing over these stones, which I think I I really like the look of that. But yeah, I think today uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, terraforming. Of course, it'd be pretty boring if you just saw me one by one placing blocks. So I think it's time that we go into a third person time lapse and we can try to see what it looks like in the end. I'll meet you guys later. boy guys this is looking pretty nice if i do say so myself um i think that i could touch up a few areas here and there but this is looking a lot better uh, i wanted to show you the technique that i'm using so shout out to uh b o who for uh in his video on interiors where he was talking about uh uh the rule of three i'm pretty sure where in a three by three space, you shouldn't have the same one block. So I've tried to, um, I've tried to do that here. Of course, I haven't gotten this area yet, but I'll have to work on that uh, next. But I've tried to uh, add some more, add some more blocks to the variety, so it's, uh, so it's fresh. I think that I may have to go a little bit less on the green concrete here just maybe add some more texture to this this area but overall guys i think this is looking pretty nice um i'm really excited to see uh to work on the sidewalk and once we get the trees in place like man it's gonna look pretty neat it is uh a bit later and i have made the hill hillier um i just kind of extended this out um and i also placed some markers for where the trees are gonna go to be honest trees are really tough i really struggle with them i have a method where i take a sapling and i just bone meal it and then i take another sapling and i bone meal that and then i just make something that's really huge but i don't know i think it could do better than that so we're gonna try to build some custom trees because it's gonna be a challenge and the struggle is worth it so how are we going to go about this? When you watch people build trees, 
You think like, oh, that's so easy. I could do that. But when you actually build the tree, you figure out that it's way harder to do. The tree I'm looking at is kind of like, it, it bends, right? Looking off an image from Google Street View, by the way. And that's the biggest thing that we gotta try to capture here. So there's a fork here. And then there's a smaller branch that kind of like squiggles its way over here. Uh, I may want to bend this one like that so we get some more 3D elements in there. Uh, I think it's time that we just start chucking leaves on it and <laughs> see how it works. It's gone to this point. <laughs> just trying to fill it out. You know, actually, it doesn't look quite that bad. That's actually looking pretty good. Okay, place like that that there and maybe one here we're getting somewhere how about we do spruce stairs like oh okay 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 a thick branch maybe i need like that now let's start chucking in some smaller twigs you know, I've gotten quiet because I'm like, I'm really thinking about this. <laughs> need some balance. If I add a branch out going out here, how does that look? Too bad, we're getting there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I'm starting. Okay, this is actually getting somewhere. You can tell in the excitement of my voice that this is actually going well. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, like, I will just, like, try to build a tree and it'll be a complete dud. Like, I have no idea, like, how, what makes it tree kind of look good other than like some basic stuff like balance but i don't really know huh that's not too bad yeah i've always feel that like custom trees lack our roots and uh if you just p place some sideways logs around the tree make it look like they're like the tree is to the ground if you like if you see in a storm if a tree falls over that it tears off a bunch of ground with it because the roots have sunken in there and so I, I think the i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong but i think like like the ratio of a tree's height to its roots is like one to two so like just go half as deep as a tree or something like that uh, i'm not too sure but it's a rule of thumb that i like to like, like have you know a few leaves like that i'm just trying to make it look a little bit more 3d i found that with trees like you want to try to get a triangle shape going triangle there and then there there and then there I'm actually pretty happy with that that's a good looking tree okay then let's uh do that three more times i have three other trees and uh it's time to show you what they look like and here they are. Ta-da! So, overall, I think uh, I was just looking at this reference on Google Earth and also just kind of like winging it, to be honest. Uh, I think I got some pretty nice trees. Um, I like that this one has this really funky, like, arm that, like, jumps out. And I tried to make the taper of a tree like the best I could, where like it's kind of thicker at the trunk and it get thinner the higher up you go. Here I'm kind of working at a three by three area and it slowly goes up to a to fences. Yeah, I think that taper is important on a on any tree. You have this sort of torch this sort of torch like thing. You have that triangle. Anyway, I think like we got some trees done. We got some terraforming done. Um, I think this is, since this is like my first episode uh, that I'm recording, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, we did a lot of stuff today, and I think it may be time to sadly say goodbye. Don't worry, I'll probably make another episode where we're going to work on this area some more. And uh, I hope you stick around and watch it. So thank you so much for watching this video, uh, and I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see ya.